Well, Admetsis is a medical device company based in Boston. And what we've started uh, developing about 10 years ago, and it finally gotten to that point where it's almost finished, is an artificial pancreas for critical care in hospitals and a sensing platform for use where the nurse and the labs do not need to be drawn, but it's automated, the treatment's automated. Uh, in critical care, in intensive care units in the hospitals, unfortunately, the technology has not kept up to what's in the rest of the world. And that's the point where all of us really need the best of our technology. Our system measures uh, a number of factors, including blood glucose and lactic acid, in real time using an intravenous sensor. It's actually at the end of the, uh, the IV. And um, what happens here it actually is, this is one of them. This is the IV catheter which goes in the vein. This here is actually the sensor. It is a laboratory on a chip. Uh, this is what is actually now uh, replaced, will be able to replace what is in a big laboratory. The difference is that this is embedded in the IV catheter and then put in the vein. So the sensor actually measures the glucose or the other factors every five minutes, real time, no blood drawn, no manual intervention, no blood loss. It's done automatically. It goes to a, uh, a bedside monitor. The bedside monitor has a, uh, a touch screen also has an embedded um, predictive uh, artificial intelligence algorithm which has been developed which can control the glucose levels automatically. And that is done through a push-pull mechanism. It infuses insulin or glucose or both, kind of like an accelerator and a brake in a car. And that, we've done three FDA approved trials. We're getting ready to do studies in Denmark. Talk to me about some of those clinical trials. What do they involve and what's been the outcome of those? Um, what they've been, we've done three trials with the FDA. The FDA has approved them all. The data has been submitted to them. What they are is essentially using this device to control through our algorithms automatically infusion of insulin or glucose to keep glucoses in a targeted narrow range for up to 24 hours. We've done about 50 patients. Uh, we've been able to keep the glucose in a very narrow uh, range the FDA has shown for us to be. Um, for up to 24 hours without any nursing intervention and 97% without any low glucoses. And has this device been regulated? Is it okay now to use in hospitals? Or, Not or yet. That's why we're of? going to, um, first, next uh, stop is Denmark. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing our final large clinical intensive care unit trials there. We will get our uh, CE mark, our European regulation, hopefully early next year. Uh, we've been working with the FDA. We're in an expedited pathway, so after the CE mark, uh, then we'll be uh, approaching the FDA for approval. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.